This is just a sad story, and you've probably seen it in the headlines. A two-year-old boy died earlier this week here in Lansing after getting his hands on a gun. And now his family is grieving, and they say this whole situation could have been prevented. I love you, man. Just, uh, you know. <laughs> Emotions only a father can feel. Joseph Muhammad is torn up after the sudden death of his two-year-old son, King. He's in a better place, man. This is an ugly world down here, dude. He's in a better place. Little King's life was cut short here at this Sunoco gas station on Dunkel Road Tuesday. Police say the toddler suffered from a gunshot wound after he was left in the car with an unsecured gun. A male suspect who ran from the scene after King was shot has been arrested. Family members tell us that suspect was King's mom's friend. This was all unnecessary. It could have been prevented. It was neglect. Um, you know, just it's just an awful situation that no two-year-old should be exposed to. Friday evening, the Sunoco parking lot was filled with flowers, teddy bears, and hugs for a vigil to honor King. A little boy, we're told, brought so much light. King was just, you know, as you see him, he just made everybody smile, man. Uh, he could dance, he could uh, count, he knows his states, uh, his colors. He just was just so bright like his energy every time anybody got around him all you could do was smile um he loved kids he loved ev just everything he was just a very loving boy and as king's family surround each other with love and support they're being left asking a question they'll probably never get the answer to all i can ask god is why though it, it just it makes no sense but you know it wasn't meant to happen but it, it happened and it just, it sucks how it had to go. Just a sad story. And of course, our prayers do go out to Little King's family. Now, the Ingham County Prosecutor's Office will be examining the incident. And from there, they'll decide if charges will be placed against the suspect. For now, reporting here in Lansing, I'm Larry Wallace, Fox 47 News.